Question 8. In the system of equations below, a is a constant and x and y are variables. For which of the following values of a will the system have no solution? If we look at the two equations, we can see that they're both linear. Remember, if we plot a linear equation, we will get a straight line. So if we have two lines which do not cross over, let's call it L and M, well, we will not get a solution to this condition. All right, so what we need to do is manipulate the algebra so we can get the slope of each of the two lines equate the slopes and then solve for a. So I'm going to do this in stages as it is a difficult question. So first of all, let's take line m and we're going to get the slope. So remember, y is equal to mx plus c. So we're going to rearrange l in that format. So we're going to get l will be, I'm going to leave the 3y over here and I will bring over my x. So when you bring over the x, you'll get negative 1x. I get minus 7 is already on the right hand side. And then we're going to divide across by the 3. So we'll get it in, into this format here. y is equal to mx plus c. Minus 1 over 3x minus 7. So the slope of L is equal to the coefficient of the X, which is minus one over three. So what we need to do now is to redo this with line M, and then we can get A isolated. So let's go on to line M, and we will get AX minus two Y, so we're bringing over the ax, we will get 2y minus ax. This is coming across and we already have a plus 6. Divide across by negative 2 and we will get minus a over minus 2. Okay, and that's by x. So minus a over minus 2 by x is equal to mx. So our slope is a over 2. All right, so this slope is equal to this slope. So now we can solve for a. So let's solve for a. So we're going to go a over 2 is equal to minus 1 over 3. Let's multiply both sides by 2. So we get a is equal to 2 by 2 over 2. And then multiply by 2 here. So we get minus 2 over 3. So our answer will be a.